So here's the next model I will be building. It's the 1 to 400 scale Titanic, Revel's 100th anniversary edition. When finished, it will be a little over two foot in length. The model includes some very nice extras, including a dinner menu. There's also three postcards, one of the Titanic, one of our sister ship, the Olympic, and one of a white star line early advertisement. And finally, there is a booklet with actual photos of the absolute grandeur that the Titanic was. Well, for those in first class anyway. Of course, the iconic staircase, amazingly reproduced in the Titanic Museum in Belfast, where she was built. You got the reception rooms, the restaurant, the smoking room. Whatever your thoughts about the James Cameron film, there's no denying the attention to detail. The accuracy is stunning. You can almost see Kate Winslet sitting in these rooms. The keel of the Titanic was laid on the 31st of March 1909. Both the Titanic and Olympic were built simultaneously and fitted out to the highest standard of elegance and luxury. Captain Smith actually commanded the Olympic but joined the Titanic for her maiden voyage which began on Wednesday the 10th of April 1912. She set sail from Southampton and ominously just missed another ship that was moored at the harbour. Titanic's next call was Cherbourg in France, then Cove in County Cork, Ireland. Cove at the time was called Queenstown. On to the instructions and decals, which there's very little, however a lot of instructions, as expected. It really is detailed. Can't wait to get into it, and also because the detail will actually be seen, as opposed to the recent Spitfire I did, or the Batmobile, of which 99% of the phenomenal detail was in the cockpit and dashboard, and ultimately not seen at all. So it'll be nice to actually see on initial view the detail that's going into it. Onto the ship's hull and a lot of windows and portholes to drill. I will be spraying the inside silver to reflect the light better. For the light, I'm just going to use basic LED strips. I even have the connectors for them so no soldering needed for this one. I think the warm light will look nice too. The site I bought the model off, mostmodels.com, also had this little package from Vallejo. All eight model air colours for the ship. Off-white, Portland stone, yellow, faded yellow, anti-fouling red, light brown, wood deck and black. Taking a closer look at the parts, and as expected from Ravel, the detail and finish is superb. The most challenging part to this build, I think, will be using the tread for cables. As you can see, you're required to add the tread as you build, so my concern is that they'll get marked with paint and glue, but we'll see. You do get the paints with this model as well, but in this case I won't be using them. And that's it, looking forward to getting started with this one. I'll likely start it this weekend. I think I'll be doing it in perhaps three or four parts. The first being the light blocking and light testing. All going well, and the first part will be online soon. I look forward to sharing it with you. Until then, hailing frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell too. Thank you.